Question 33. The diagram shows an aeroplane that was flying towards an airport at A on a bearing of 135 degrees true. When it was at point O, 20 kilometers away from the airport at A, the flight course was changed. The aeroplane landed at an airport at B directly south of O. The distance from O to B is 50 kilometers. Part A. Show that the distance between the airport at A and the airport at B is 38.5 kilometers, correct to one decimal place. The true bearing of the airport at A is 135 degrees, and the true bearing of the airport at B is 180 degrees, since the airport at B is directly south of O. Now side AB in triangle OAB represents the distance between the airport at A and the airport at B. Now we have two known sites. We have side OA, which is 20 kilometers, and side OB, which is 50 kilometers. If we can find this angle here, we can apply the cosine rule to find the length AB, which represents the distance between the two airports. So firstly, to find the included angle. If we start off with 180 degrees and subtract 135 degrees, the difference between these two bearings will give the size of this angle here. So angle AOB is equal to 180 degrees minus 135 degrees, which equals 45 degrees, and it's marked on the diagram. Now using the cosine rule, AB squared is equal to 50 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 50 times 20 times cos of 45 degrees. And evaluating the right-hand side, we get AB squared is equal to 1,485.786438. To find AB, we need to take the square root of this value here. So AB is equal to the square root of 1,485.786438, which equals 38.5459004. Therefore, the distance between airport A and airport B is 38.5 kilometres, correct to one decimal place. Part B. Use the sine rule to find the angle OBA to the nearest degree. Let angle OBA be theta. Then using the sine rule, sine theta over 20 is equal to sine 45 degrees over 38.5. Writing that here, sine theta over 20 is equal to sine 45 degrees over 38.5, where angle OBA equals theta. Multiplying both sides of this equation by 20 to make sine theta the subject, we get sine theta is equal to 20 times sine 45 degrees divided by 38.5, which equals 0 0.36732198. To make theta the subject, we take the inverse sine of both sides. So theta is equal to inverse sine of 0 0.36732198, which equals 21.55 and so on degrees, which rounds to 22 degrees. Therefore, theta, which equals angle OBA, which equals 22 degrees, correct to the nearest degree. Part C. What is the bearing of the airport at B from the airport at A? Draw a north-south axis through the airport at A. All north-south axes are parallel to each other since they're pointing in the same direction. So we have a pair of parallel lines and the transversal is AB. Now this angle here, this angle theta, and this angle here are alternate to each other, which means they are equal. Now we worked out in part B that this angle here, angle OBA, is 22 degrees, which means this angle here is also 22 degrees. So to find the bearing of the airport at B from the airport at A, starting from north and going clockwise, it'll be a 180 degrees plus 22 degrees, which will be 202 degrees.